Essen geht. Gib es every bit, es fang mit Glück und Herr. So come on and see you win, tell the world we'll ever give in. Fight for the right and fight alone, ever quit. What's it mean? Give us every bit, es fang mit Glück und Herr. So come on and see you win, tell the world we'll never give in. Down easy, Charlie. One look over that cribbing. So it is, Jim. You know, Tom, I can't figure out how the cribbing in this shaft could be rotten so soon. It was just put in. Are you sure? I'd hate to drop the weight of an egg on it. your jaw. I put my jaw, I pull the rope, what I do is that I pull the rope myself. Well, you, I know more about the mine than you do. Well, you never minded anything in your life. Yeah, what I mind, I mind my business. I don't grease uh, we mills and dig boss hole like you in Texas. Get a hold of oh. the rope and pull. charge of putting in that tunnel crimming, didn't you? So what? It wasn't put in right. It's wrecked. Are you accusing me of wrecking it? I'm accusing you of causing a lot of unnecessary delay and expense around here, and I'm not sure that you didn't have a hand in that. I don't take that kind of talk from anybody, Ben. No? Well, I don't hire men that seem to be working against me. Get out! Well, that suits me. here all this time waiting for some excitement and this is what happens. And now the 
trompada en las narices. ¿no? Just like the big meathead kind of overmatched himself, eh, Pancho? What do you mean, meathead match him? Otra vez, hombre! Aramón el país otra vez! Speak English so I'll understand what you're calling him. With all heads, you could never understand nothing. Tex, you and Borak see all the rest of the agitators leave camp. Alligators? Agitators. Come on, fella. You're just a nuisance. This delay looks bad for Hogan's note, you know that, don't you? Well, I'm not worried about it. If we get to him in time, I can have him renew it. Well, let's get into Panamint. Come on. <laughs> Office? Yeah, he's in there. Come in. What's on your mind, Davis? Buck Hansen just got in from the Lost Aztec Mine. Everything all right? Our plan to get rid of Benton and gain control of the mine didn't pan out. They wrecked the mine, didn't they? Yes, but Benton escaped without a scratch. He's sure lucky. No, it isn't luck. It's brains. He's outsmarted you and the wolf at every turn. Where's Benton now? He and his Death Valley riders are heading into Panama. Hanson spotted them. Mm. On his way to the bank, I suppose, to get more money, to fix up the mine, continue operation. Hogan won't give him any more money until Benton pays up his note. That's an idea. Benton's note is almost due. He'll try to get Hogan to renew it. I can stop that. I hope you're right. I'll take Gordon with me. Now you get over to the marshal. Tell him to come on down to the bank. On some excuse, or to write a check or something, just in case I have any trouble with Hogan. Right. Well, cashier said I'd better see you personally. What is it, Kirby? I drew this check to my account. I want the cash. Well, that's easy. Give it to me and I'll get it for you. Uh, what's the matter, Hogan? The check's good, isn't it? Yes, but 30000 My balance is a good deal more than that. I know, but I have to keep the money working by making loans. Then you haven't the funds to cover your accounts? Well, not on hand, but I can get it for you if you'll give me a little time. It's all on gilt edge securities. What securities? Well, principally notes. Whose notes? <laughs> well, this is hardly regular, Kirby, but... Notes from men like Judge Knox, Doc Murphy, Jim Benton, Bill Winters. How much is Bill Winters' note? Ten thousand. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. How much is Jim Benton's note? Why, twenty thousand. I'll take that too. Well, I'll give you Winters' notes, but I won't give you Benton's. Why? It'll be kind of like selling Benton out. What's the difference who holds Benton's note? You'll sell me Jim Benton's note, Hogan. Or have a run on your bank. I know a lot of depositors would get mighty scared if I was to let them know you didn't have the cash to cover their accounts. You don't leave me much choice, do you, Kirby? None at all. You folks go on down to the store and get loaded up with supplies. I'll be at the bank. Yeah, you better tell uh, Borax not to drink too much of that tequila. I'm on the wagon. He's on the wagon. What do you mean? Oh, the wagon. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I don't mind Winter's note, but I feel like a criminal doing this to Benton. Come in. Jim Benton is here, Mr. Hogan. He'd like to see you in private. Jim Benton. Tell him to wait a moment. I don't want him to see us here. No, I don't either. Come in, Jim. Hello, Lee. Glad to see you. How's everything at the mines? 
Well, not so good. We ran into a little trouble. Might delay us for a couple of weeks. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it's nothing serious that we can't fix, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you up on your offer to renew my note. I'd like to help you, Jim, but it's impossible. You haven't lost confidence in the mine. No, no, it isn't that. Leif, it, it's not me. I hate to tell you this, Jim, but I don't hold your note any longer. I sold it. You sold it? What for? Listen, Jim, I'm a banker. And if I want to dispose of any securities I hold, I have a perfect legal right to do so. I don't question that, Hogan. But you certainly put Miss Morgan and me in a nice spot. Who'd you sell it to? Joe Kirby. Kirby? Well, so you and Kirby have gotten together, huh? I couldn't help myself, Jim. Maybe you couldn't, but let me tell you something, Hogan. I know where I can get that money, and I'm going to go get it right now. If you and Kirby think you can rob me of that mine, you're crazy! <laughs> Marshal, while you're wasting all this time, the killers are getting away. Well, the evidence is mighty strong against her. Says you. Get your persuader, Jim. I don't like the smell of this. Disarm them, Marshal. Thanks, gents. All right, boys. certainly got your feet wet this time. They frame a murder charge against you and they're holding me for assisting a fugitive from justice. How do you like it? Well, it doesn't do you any good to get excited. Who's getting excited? What are we waiting for? Let's yank him out of there, Mr. Oh, they showed you dirt. Oh, now, wait a minute. Hold on here. It's a serious thing taking the law in your own hands. Well, Benton took the law in his own hands, didn't he? I'm forgiving them what they deserve. Wait, hold him. We shot him down in cold blood. Let's cut out the gap. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Wolf's sort of getting them stirred up, ain't he? Yeah. Oh, get Jim and Tombstone out of that jail somehow. Sure have. Because with the marshal on Kirby's side, they ain't got a chance. We'll get a hold of Poncho and see what we can do. Kirby's dealing these cards, and we got to sit in the game and wait for a break. Yeah, and I got a hunch he's dealing them off at the bottom. <laughs> Hey, Pancho! You see Jim someplace, yes? No. Kirby's men are starting the necktie party for Jim and Tombstone. They're on the way to the jail now. Yeah, we must not let them do this thing. That's right, but how are the three of us going to stop them? Uh, I got a great idea. Well, out with it. Tell it me. worked good in Mexico. Now, you up the horses. You help me unload the wagon, eh? We just loaded it. What do you want to unload it for? Don't, don't let me question now. I got him here, but it don't come out here, huh? Now, come on, help me. Let's wait. <laughs> Poncho and Tex and Borax. We should have heard from them a lot. Don't get excited. <laughs> you take a little powder barrel, you soak them in the oil, then you light them with a match, put them on the end of your rope, draw them around your head like that, into the crowd, the crowd will get scared and run away. <laughs> you understand? No, do you? Yes. Uh, come on, let's win. They dealt our courage off at the bottom. Now tell Jim and Tombstone what we're going to do. Give me your cake. Sounds like a pretty big mob to me. I may not be able to hold them off. Give us our guns back and we'll stop them. No, I can't do that. Maybe you don't want to stop them. 
That'll be enough out of you. Did I say anything to make him mad? No, he's just touchy. Jim, come stop. Am I hearing things? Listen, we got a wagon up the street. When that mob breaks in here to take you out, this is what we're gonna do. Bring it up, boys, bring it up. Let the law take its course. Step aside, Marshal. We're taking them killers out of there. Oh, no, you're not. I'm giving you just 30 seconds to get out the way. I've never lost a prisoner yet, and I'm not losing one now. Stand up! Hey! Come on! Hey! He's out of us. Out of the boys. Go ahead! I know, but how are you going to do it? 